Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angle on Oweleke TV. My name is Jibrin and this is my angle. I want to be talking about um, Asari Dokubo. Um, for those of you who don't know Asari, Asari is from the South South. Um, he used to be um, a, an oil bunker. Uh, used to be, um, I think, the head of uh, Niger Delta Militant Militancy uh, Group. Um, I think he. I, I don't know. He just I consider him as um, an agbero. That's just the way I consider him, and uh, I shall be giving reasons why uh, the man is just uh, is a bunch of um, um, on on serious element. Um, before I before I go into what I intend reading here, an article. Let me play this video for you to let us refresh our memory on Asari, how he supported Tinubu, and how he stuck his neck for Tinubu. I said, if Ahmed Wala Tinibu fails, hold me responsible. If Tinibu does not turn our life around, hold me responsible. As, as, I, as I am today, from today, I will walk, 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 and form alliance with the North and to crack out the opposition. Whatever we do for them does not mean anything to them. We cannot work with the Yoruba people. They are betraying out to us. <laughs> We risk our life, but uh, did everything. I think this is what we get. They should go and ask him about death. The president that they talk about, when they talk to the president, since they know one, maybe we secret, secret. The press conference, the president tell me to go talk to press. I said, why not? Why not? He don't tell me to talk anything, but he say talk to the press. Now I talk to the press. I talk to the press. If they ask me the root cause of bunkering for you, I don't know if he talk. The people where they do the bunkering, I don't know if he call them. Why not? 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 So when I go there and say, uh, nah, it's your boys they do bunkering. Nah, it's your boys they do bunkering. No, it's boys they do bunkering. Now lie. Don't be your boys they do bunkering. All the uh, fire depot them. Now people went there for army. Now they pay them, then they go to the city. They collect their home, they give the people peanuts. Oh, well, oh, yeah. oh, well, Everybody knows it. Yeah. Because we are afraid. People are afraid, they go do cool. You do cool. All right. Um... Again, what he said there, um, first, you had the first one. There was a previous video before the election when he was campaigning for Bola Tinubu. He vowed that he will keep fighting for Bola Tinubu. And if anything, but he promised that Bola Tinubu will turn the country around, turn our lives around. And if he does not, we should hold him responsible. I don't even know who he is for us to hold him responsible. What is his pedigree? Who he who is he as a Nigerian? What is what is his take um in the Nigerian state? A sort of that he had the audacity to say that we should hold him responsible when he is nothing other than a hoodlum, nothing other than a area an area boy of uh, the head of, uh, of of criminals, a sort of so um I, I don't get it. Hold who responsible. Are you responsible? You have to be responsible for someone to be, for you to be held responsible. You are not, he is not responsible for us to hold him responsible. So that's a part. Now, let's go to what he just said about, now he's disgruntled. Tinubu is not, he has not gotten what he expected. Tinubu is not giving him the attention. Um, he's not been rewarded in any form or shape. Uh, so he has become a disgruntled follower right now. So he's just coming out to spill the beans. Unfortunately, the beans that he's spilling or he just spilled right now, 
is not is not a beans in the first place because it's not it, it wasn't a secret it is something it's it's an open secret let me use that word everybody knows that the bunkering um or illegal oil bunkering in the south south government has hand in it the military has hand in it the politicians have uh, have their hands in it everybody every the powers that be they have their hand in it so it, it, it is not this is no news it didn't break any news to us it didn't spill any beans um to us so let me let, let me read this article uh that by i think it's a news article by sahara reporter where Saria, asare odokubo is just talking nonsense again say yoruba are betrayers i emptied my account to campaign for tinubu got nothing now I am forming alliance with not Asari Dokubo. I, I don't even know what this man has over is really overrating himself. Asari Dokubo is nothing less than an area boy. Uh, sorry, nothing more than an area boy. I don't even know aligning with who is he that is align, aligning with the not. I, I don't understand. Nobody takes this man, nobody takes him seriously for God's sake. And that is why Tinubu, because he is not important to Tinubu, Tinubu trusts Tinubu. He is a master politician. No, criminals are smart. He is a criminal. So criminals, they know who, 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 who to actually step on and who not to step on. So if Tinubu decided or chose to actually discard, uh, discard uh, Asari Dokubo, if, if he chose to not to give him attention, if he chose not to reward him, for the little thing he did, we do for basically, I don't, I don't, I don't even see anything he did. If he chose not to, not to view him as important as he thinks he, he uh, Dokubo sees himself to be, then it means that Dokubo is nothing. He's a non-entity. He's a non-entity to Nigeria and Nigeria. He's a non-entity to Tinubu. He is useless as useless can be. He is just a noise maker. He always keeps making noise. He has threatened the Igbos. Some to, today he will come again uh, in favor of the Igbos. Tomorrow he will, call, he will come threatening the Igbos to annihilate them and so on and so forth. So many, the man is just is a lunatic. That is just the reality. Now he's, uh, as he's saying that the Yorubas are betrayers. Well, because one person, if one person, because one person who is a Yoruba man betrayed you, does it make general, does it make the entire Yorubas to betray us? My friend, that somebody, that, that sh they should put this man in his place. For God's sake, um, he should, he should, I don't, I don't know what is going on with this man. The last, the other time he came out threatening with AK-47 or whatever. That man is just going, he's just going, he's, go, he's just going insane. That's just the truth. Um, he's going mentally deranged. And he, he, I, I think, I think someone should do something that should do something about this man because he is just all over the place. He is black today. Tomorrow is blue. The next time is red. He's just all over the place. He just go, he just, he goes, he just flows along the wind. Uh, it flows with the wind. Whichever direction the wind blows, that is where he blows. He sort of, he follows, he goes. That, 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 oh, this is, this, this, why would someone take this man seriously? Someone that goes to the high, the, to the highest bidder. He went to the highest bidder. Now the, the highest bidder has, has actually uh, uh, dis, discarded him as a rag. And now he's crying foul, crying, raining, trying to rain hell and brimstone. Unfortunately, Asari Dokubo does not have hell. He does not have brimstone. He doesn't have any fire to throw at anyone. He is powerless, as powerless can be. And that is just the reality. The man should just go and sit down. I don't even know why people are giving him att attention. So the media, I, the media... Uh, giving him or the media is giving him attention or people in the media are giving him attention honestly uh, it's just it's just useless i decided to give him at this attention because i have been very very i've watched several of his videos here and there or whatever a uh, sort of so but uh, now why i decided to give him at uh, this uh, short attention is actually to call him out as a fool that 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 is what he is he's just a fool and that is my angle